want to echo the thanks that Cameron put forth. Thank you so much for taking part in this process. Last election, we only had 41% of our electorate turn out. I would love to see those numbers increase. No matter who you vote for, please remember to also turn out to the polls on April 19th. Uh, I'm just going to jump right into it. Lots of you guys don't know who I am, so I'm going to share a story about myself from earlier on in my life. When I was younger, my family ended up falling into a financial state where we were very uncomfortable. We needed help. My father had passed away and my mom was left behind to take care of her four children. My mom has described the time as extremely difficult and she's shared the story with us where she would reach into the food cabinet and only touch a bare wall. But I consider myself one of the lucky ones. We had an Auntie Lucy who would bake us gigantic macaroni trays in order to make sure that we wouldn't go hungry as growing boys. Uh, we had a grandma who would drive from towns about, uh, from a town about an hour and a half away in order to take care of us as my mom went back to school in order to find a job and train for that job that would sustain the family. We were the lucky ones because we had support. But there are families in Manitoba that do not have this support, where both parents are still alive, still working, or trying to find work, but they're still impoverished, or still cannot make ends meet. In Manitoba, we have the highest rate of CFS child apprehension in the world. That's unacceptable. Our government has not done enough to help children and families that are impoverished. All I hear from various sources is that the government needs to provide better preventative support. I agree with this, and our government needs to change in order to have this done. My heart stays with this one main issue, as I believe that we are the absolute best party to sustain this issue. We need to help our children come out of poverty so that our future generations can help themselves and can strengthen Manitoba and build an economy and an environment, a situation that can last for generations upon generations. What I'm getting at is the guaranteed annual income. This is the best policy that I've ever seen put forth. It's going to cut poverty in half across the province. It's going to reduce children in poverty by 90% and eliminate poverty in elderly families. We need to take care of our children and we need to take care of our elders. Our elders have worked, they have toiled, and they have tried for every single day of their life. We have to make sure that they have the choice to retire and spend time with their families. Anyway, I'm coming right down to the wire here, but I hope that you listen to the Green Platform. You hear that we are here and we are dedicated to ending poverty in Manitoba. That we make Manitoba the province that leads the nation in taking care of our children, our elders, and our vulnerable sectors. I would love to meet with you and talk with you and, and be able to hear your questions about this policy and many others, including carbon taxes, including uh, reform of the CFS system, including removal of the education property tax as we go further into the night. But please, please, when you vote on April 19th, consider your children, consider your elderly, consider the Green Party of Manitoba.